Pokemon Sword and Shield was Nintendo's first attempt to bring a mainline Pokemon game into a home console. Well, the Switch technically is a handheld console, but you know what I mean. Although I've played through this game many times, I wanted to spice things up a little bit and do a hardcore Nuzlocke. But every encounter I get must be randomly traded to one of 20 million people who have this game. So you're probably wondering to yourself, how can this guy randomly trade one of his Pokemon to one of the 20 million people that own this game? Well, that answer is actually easier than you think, but before I can explain how this works, we need to clear through the early game so we can get access to the online features in Pokemon Sword. We begin our adventure and the soon to be ex-champion Leon offers us one of his three Pokemon. This choice actually doesn't matter at all as once we have access to the online features, it will be the first Pokemon I trade with a random trainer. I decide to go for Score Bunny and from here I just speed run through the game. One thing I make sure to do is to catch my encounters as the Nuzlocke rules still apply. Meaning if I fail to catch a Pokemon in a new area, I miss out on that encounter. After being forced to bully a bunch of toddlers, we make our way to Hop and we can comfortably take out his Pokemon. With that done, we can now get access to trading and start the run. So in Pokemon Sword, there is a feature called Surprise Trade. What this does is it allows me to select a random Pokemon in my box that I want to trade and randomly connect me with someone else in the world to complete the trade. I only put two rules in place, one is Dupes Clause. This is so I don't end up with a team of the same Pokemon and the other rule is that the Pokemon has to be level 65 or lower, otherwise it would be over leveled for every fight in the game. With that all explained, here are my first few official encounters. And now let's see, what are we gonna get? Okay, you know what, oh, what level is this gonna be? I don't mind this, but what level is it gonna be? Level 65. What is the level cap for Leon? It is, charge that's level 65. Chat, I have to keep this, I think. Please, something decent, Cam. Don't do me dirty, Cam, please. Don't do me dirty. What are you giving me? Oh, chat, this is good. This is really good, okay, okay. Don't know who this person is, but please give me something decent, please. Oh, Dracovish, Dracovish. Okay, what level is this? This is actually really good, depending on the level. Level 10, Chad, this is so good. Oh my goodness, Chad, this is amazing. Okay, Brian, please tell me you did something good. Please, Brian. Oh, Chad, a Charmander. Oh my God, yes. Metal Man Gaming, thank you for the sub as well. We got a Charmander, Chad, that's so good. That's so good. Look, there's no two ways about it. I'm off to an amazing start and I have an incredibly balanced team. Also, I probably won't show all the trades I get, just the ones that make appearances in the video. We head to the hotel and I can finally get a chance to use my team in battle. And by team, I mean Dracovish, as this thing is an absolute monster and can handle anything that Team Yell throws at us. Hop then ambushes us demanding a battle and once again, this is the Dracovish show. Hops Wulu, Grookey and Rookie D stand no chance against my Dragonfish Abomination and we dispose of them with ease. The Gallimines is our next stop and it is here that we get our chance to take out arguably the most obnoxious rival in all of Pokemon, Bead. So you probably guessed it, Dracovish once again carries the team and one by one all of Bead's Pokemon fall to brutal swings while taking almost no damage in return. I can honestly say that there aren't many things much more satisfying than beating Bead and wiping that smug look off his face. After the fight, Charmander evolves into a Charmeleon and we are looking good before our first gym battle against Milo. We out speed? We sure do. All right, good night. Surely this is a one shot. See you later. I mean, I don't mind uh, Strong Jaw because we're already quad resistant to water because we're water dragon. So we've already got a really good resistance to water with him. Now the thing about Pokemon Sword and Shield is that the game kind of starts off slow and it takes a while before you get to the first gym. However, once you get your hands on the first badge, they all start flowing one after the other. Before we can take on Nessa for the second badge, Hop is overly excited about getting his first gym badge and wants to fight. Dracovish and Charmeleon can tag team together and take out all of Hop's Pokemon with ease and at this point you'd think the guy would give up trying to beat us after four consecutive losses. Regardless, we make our way over to Nessa. So chat, the plan here is pretty simple, I believe. I think I'm just gonna Dynamax Thwacky and just like 
Max Overgrowth my way through, right? All right, Max Overgrowth. Does this kill? Does this kill? It should kill, right? Nice. Okay, Golden's taken out. That's one down. This will one-shot. This thing is like paper defense, right? There's no way it survives this. Nice, easy. Okay, one more Pokemon. We sure do. Okay, Thwacky, end him. End this giant turtle. See you later, Dreadnought. Easy chat, easy. These gym fights are easy. With Nessa beaten, I decided to catch some more Pokemon, allowing me to randomly trade and add some new team members. What are we getting? What are we getting? Please. Please. Oh, Mimikyu chat. That is massive. That is massive. Holy Okay, okay, okay. Please give me something decent. I need something decent. Okay, you know what, chat? I will take a mud break. We then get to the Gala Mines too, and for some reason, Beat is waiting for us again. Like seriously, why does this guy always hang around at the mines for? Once again, Beat is a cakewalk as my Dracovish can brutal swing his way through all his Pokemon, embarrassing Beat for a second time in this run. Hop is also desperate to get a win under his belt, so I grind him his wish and we team up so we can take out some of the Team Yell grunts blocking the path through the mines. Marley then pulls me up at a hotel wanting to battle, and I'm not sure why we would do this in the middle of a hotel, but apparently we do. Marley is actually a slight step up from the previous battles, but it's nothing that my team can't handle. Next, we have to get our hands on our third gym badge, and Kabu is the guy standing in our way. He actually has a decent team with three fully evolved fire Pokemon. We'll take out, I'm pretty sure that we one shot, right? This should one shot. Yes. Because we're in the rain. Does this one shot? Yeah, it does. Please kill. Oh, why am I worried? Okay, good. Good, good, good. We did it. All right, that wasn't too bad, chap. I feel like I need to book a massage for Dracovish as he's been carrying the team so far for this run. So at this point, I'm kind of feeling unstoppable as the team is incredibly stacked and well balanced. And if we also take into account my game knowledge of Pokemon Sword, things are looking pretty good for me. And then from out of nowhere, this guy, yes, this lowly Team Yell Grunt, decides to shake things up a bit. You will know very soon. Um, let's go for the Protect to get some free HP. And then we'll start attacking again. Oh, that was a bad move. Hone Claws. Oh, that's scary, chat. That's actually a little bit scary. You know, let's just go for a waterfall. I was thinking of bringing Wobbit Fed in. Oh, no. That wasn't even a crit. That wasn't even a crit, chat. Oh, chat, we're in trouble. Okay, let me think. Okay, I'm going for the Protect, get some HP recovery. Do not hone claws. Whatever you do, do not hone claws. I'll be so upset if he does. Do not hone claws. <laughs> chat. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. We're in a situation now. And this thing is so rapid, chat. It's actually so fast as well. So the plan was to try and get a Destiny Bond kill on the Lanoon, but this monster of a Pokemon kept going for hone claws, raising his special attack and accuracy. I went for it a few times, hoping for this thing to put me out of my misery until this happened. Please attack me. Please attack me. Oh my God. Chat, what is going on? Please attack me. Please attack me. Thank God. Oh my God, Chat, that like, I've never been so happy to die, ever. How come it didn't faint? How come it didn't faint? And I'm confused right now. At this point, I was certain the run was over as this Lanoon outspeeds my entire team and can pretty much one-shot everyone. I decided to switch in Mimikyu and see how many baby doll eyes I can get off, dropping Lanoon's attack before eventually sacrificing him. But for some reason, every time I went for baby doll eyes, Lanoon would respond with a Hone Claws, getting his attack back up. Because Hone Claws only has 15 PP, it eventually runs out, allowing Mimikyu to drop his attack back to normal. I then switch in Charmeleon as Mimikyu is low on health, and I know that a Fire Fang could finish the job. But Fire Fang should kill this. 
Night Slash, how much is this doing? Don't crit? Okay, I'm dead to crit, but I have to risk it, chat. I have to risk it. Don't crit. Take out. Not going to lie, losing two Pokemon because of some bad plays from my end and some really random and unpredictable AI moves really does hurt. Especially because I was really keen to use a Charizard in this playthrough. Well, at least things can't get any worse from here, right? Right? Yeah, she has a Clefable after this. That's why I spent the time to calm mind. I get, it was more for the Clefable, not for um, the Clefairy. This should two-shot though, right? Oh my goodness, Chad, he's so good. Metromome, please, some dud move. Oh! No! Chad, no! Yeah, that just happened. Talk about kicking me when I'm down. As you can imagine, we're kind of desperate for a confidence boost right now. Thankfully for us, there is a hot battle coming up, and well, let's just say that was just what the doctor ordered. My Pokemon dish out some serious damage to his makeshift team, restoring our confidence right back up just before the next gym battle. After going through a pinball-like gym challenge, we're able to go head-to-head -head with Bayer and her fighting types. Chat, the plan here is just to set up on this Hitmontop, because this Hitmontop can't do a thing to Mimikyu. Mimikyu is literally immune to all his moves. All right, now that we've done three, Shadow Sick, does this one shot? It should, right? This should one shot. Let's see. It doesn't. Ooh, interesting. That kind of um makes me worry about a couple of the other Pokemon. My champ in particular, the, the Gigantamax my champ. Plus six Mimikyu, and we aren't one-shotting things. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie, chat. Michael, can you evolve your Eevee into a Glaceon since you're a member? Uh, potentially, Anthony. All right. Let's go for the Shadow Sneak. And this should be GG. Nice. Okay. And just like that, we have half our gym badges already. Beat has officially lost his mind and somehow thinks that destroying an ancient mural will please Chairman Rose. As I'm not a fan of vandalism, I step in and I have my Pokemon deal with him. As usual, this is a fairly straightforward fight and it ends up being a comfortable win. Okay, trade's completed. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we get something decent. I'm giving a decent uh, Pokemon. Let's go, go. Go, please do me good. Do me a favor, go. Give me something decent. You know what, chat? Oh, this is perfect for the next gym. This is actually, chat, this is perfect for the net, for Opal. Come on, come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Something that I can use. Oh, the score money. Oh my God. Oh, chat, this is fantastic. This is amazing. Now we have to deal with Opal, but with our newly acquired Covenite and the free buffs we get from Opal, this battle is a complete joke. My Steelbert takes complete control and has no issues taking out all of her Pokemon, getting our hands on our fifth gym badge. Hop still hasn't learned his lesson and is keen to have yet another rematch. Let's just say there are three things certain in life, death, taxes, and completely embarrassing Hop in a Pokemon battle. Although his team has changed a little, my team has excellent coverage to deal with all his Pokemon easily. Before we can take out Gordy, we need to complete arguably the most dangerous gym challenge of all time. Like seriously, one wrong move and we fall to our death. I really can't imagine what the insurance for a place like this would cost. We make our way across safely, and now we have to take on Gordy. This should one shot, it's quite effective. See you later, Barbacool. You tried your best, buddy. Just smacking him with a bunch of roots straight to the face. I might even just leave Mudstall in for the uh, Colossal. Instead of bringing in Dracovich, right? Mudstall's probably just, just as good. Change its defense stats, basically, switch them around. Which doesn't make any sense because it just helped me big time, I think. Max Pack, Mudstale's so good. This is definitely a two shot, maybe a one shot. It one shots. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Another gym leader bites the dust and our gym badge collection is almost full. 
We then beat up Hop's Pokemon in the snow, and now I'm even starting to feel bad for him and his Pokemon. Then we get our hands on a state-of-the-art bike that somehow lets us ride on water like a speedboat. Look, it's Pokemon, we probably shouldn't look into this too much. Marnie then agrees to show us the secret entrance to the next gym on the condition that we battle her first. At least this time she has the decency to do the battle outside and not in the middle of a hotel lobby. The next gym leader is Piers and he's performing a show but then out of nowhere he decides to start roasting me. So of course, we can't let him get away with that. Let's go, let's go Thunderbolt, this should kill. Kill? See you later Scrafty. Alright chat, we're in a good spot. This, there's no way this survives this. Night Slash, we will survive this. Just don't crit, please. Is that a crit? That wasn't even a crit. Interesting. All right. Uh, drain Kiss will definitely kill now. Definitely. And you know what? If the Draining Kiss doesn't kill from the power, it would definitely kill because he's getting kissed by this thing. All right. <laughs> Imagine getting kissed by a Crimson Heart. My God. That is just horrible. A horrible thought. I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemies, put it that way. Let's see. Does this kill? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. After teaching Piers a lesson or two, we get our seventh gym badge, and we only have one more gym leader to take out, Raihan the Dragon Master. Although when looking at his team, calling him a Dragon Master really is up for debate. After taking out his students, we make some adjustments to the team, and we can finally take him on ourselves. Okay, we outspeed. Flygon should be dead. This should one shot. Yes, okay, good. Flygon's dead. All Beetle resists the um I should have done heavy slam. Oh no, Gigalith's pretty heavy. And anyway, well, let's see, how does this play out? I've play I've pressed the buttons. Earthquake. Now all beetle should kind of eat this. Yeah, he eats it so well. Chat, what do you want me to do? Like this is just going perfectly. Max Knuckle. Oh no. Who's he gonna max knuckle? Okay, that's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at look at this. Easy, Max Quake. Finish him off. Finish him off. Beautiful work, Mudsdale. I always believed in you, buddy. I always believed in you. With all eight badges in the bag, we have now qualified to enter the Champions Cup. Before we can actually make it to the stadium, we have one last hurdle to jump. Mike, what's your favorite Gala starter? Okay, Gala starter, that's what it was. Yeah, Rillaboom, it is Rillaboom. I'm gonna go for the drum beating as well. Hopefully uh, with the hurricane, oh no. Oh, Rillaboom. No! Super Fang just does half damage. Oh no. I forgot about Tailwind, chat. I forgot about Tailwind. He has Tailwind up, doesn't he? Well, that just made things interesting. Unfortunately, I don't have time to mourn the deaths of my Pokemon, and we push through as that's what they would have wanted anyway. We get to the Champions Cup, and the first trainer I need to deal with is Marnie and her Dark types. I lead with Vikavolt, who only has one job, and that is to go for Sticky Web. What this does is every Pokemon that switches in afterwards will now have their speed drop. From here, I can make some smart switches, taking out her whole team with minimal hassle. Marnie is defeated, and next we have Hop. This fight is even easier, as Mimikyu can set up with Sword Centers in front of Double until we get to plus six. Then, Mimikyu brings out the broom and starts sweeping through all of Hop's Pokemon. We make it to the next round, but before the day ends, we make our way up to Rose Tower, and we need a face off against Elena and her team. All right, let's um, start off chat with a Flame Charge. Should one shot, we, okay, we got Expert Belt on. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Speed Risen. It went for Safeguard, really? Didn't want to recover? They're kind of, uh, I'm kind of upset that I lost, um... I actually thought we might have outsped, but obviously we don't. Anyway, see you later, Slazzle. All right, now here comes Garbodor. This thing is gonna obviously Gigantamax. See you later. See you later, Olena. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, chat. Hopefully after the battle, Chairman Rose gives her a holiday break as this girl is stressed to the max. The next day is upon us and we have some big fights to do. But before we can start fighting, Bead makes one last appearance and I gladly agree to take out his Pokemon. Cinderace takes a lead and is able to take out the Morwell with a single Pyro Ball. 
I then switch in Mimikyu and I go for Swords Dance and now we can do what he did to Hop and start destroying Bead's team. Next is Nessa and a Water Pokemon. Unfortunately for Nessa, I have a Vikavolt and this electric bug has been itching to get involved in a Pokemon battle for a while. He starts Thunderbolting his way through all of Nessa's Pokemon except to race Dreadnought. However, unfortunately for the Giant Turtle, Serena is able to Dynamax and take it out with a max overgrowth, giving us another win. Bayer is next, and this is simple, as Mimikyu can set up on Halucha, as the only move that can hit us is Bounce, so we can easily Swords Dance on the first turn, and then Protect on the second turn when Bounce lands. From there we Rinse, Repeat, and then we Sweep. Last is Raihan, and this time most of his teams are actually Dragons. Marcel can take out the Torkoal in a single hit, using Soft Sand, Stab Earthquake, and it only goes downhill for Raihan from here. I switch in Grimsnarl into a Sunny Day Surf doing no damage before setting up with Bulk Ups and taking out the Gudra. Raihan then brings in Turdinator and this is where Grimsnarl can continue to set up as his Turdinator keeps going for Shell Trap which requires me to physically attack him to deal damage back to me. From here it's a simple sweep and we can take out the rest of the Pokemon although his Duraludon did somehow survive a plus 6 super effective Max Knuckle. And we're plus 6 attack so this is definitely a one shot. What? We were plus six attack, and we didn't one shot. Duraludon is bulky. Plus six, super effective, max knuckle, and he survives it. We finally have earned our fight with Leon, but before I can take my rightful place as champion, we need to collect a rusty sword before taking on Chairman Rose and his steel types. So expert belt with a flame charge should kill this thing. One shot. Please tell me the calcs are right, and it is. Did we hit it? Yeah, we hit it. We hit it. See you later, Clink. This should kill, right? See you later, Clink. Clink. I, I wasn't actually confident it was going to kill. I was just like, oh, this should kill. 90 accurate move, 90% accuracy moves would have been really difficult. Anyway, so now we're just sweeping through. Meowth has so many. Like, I've just thought about this chat. Meowth has, like, has one of them, is one of the Pokemon with the most forms in all of Pokemon as well which is kind of random. Cinderace uses Max Flare. Does it kill? Does it kill? It kills. Yes, all right. Eternatus is next on the list, but we have no problems taking him out and catching him, allowing us to save the day. And now finally, it's time. We head into the stadium and we go face to face with Leon. But I'm hoping King Shield turn one. Yes, King Shield turn one, perfect. That's actually really good chat. Swords Dance, that's what we wanted to see. Now he's definitely going, going for an attacking move, so I go for a Protect now. Stance change, perfect. Shadow Ball most likely. Easy, that's fine, I'll take that. We can survive one Shadow Ball regardless because of Disguise. Okay, King Shield, again, perfect. This is actually perfect for us. We might even get to plus six, chat. All right. This is, this is actually going, turning out really, really well. I'm not gonna lie. Like everything that could have gone right is going right so far. Let's go for protect. Cause he has to stance change. Do we out, we, no, we can, we do outspeed actually, if we go for the um, a flash cannon. Okay, that's a bit cheeky. Yes, perfect, perfect, all right. I just didn't want it to drop my accuracy. I don't know why I thought it would have. All right, chat, I think this might be GG, right? Because we're plus six with Mimikyu. And Shadow Sneak can take out a lot of Leon's Pokemon pretty easily. Does this kill plus six, even in King Shield form? Yeah, it kills. Yes, it kills. Super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team. Oh, thank you, Leon. Let's go for Shadow Claw. That's fine. That's fine. Our disguise is up. Hey? Oh, he's got Mold Breaker chat. I forgot about Mold Breaker. All right, Dragapult's definitely dead to a Shadow Sneak. Definitely dead to a Shadow Sneak. I know I don't outspeed this either, but see you later. Oh my God, tell me Mimikyu's gonna sweep through Leon's team. 
Oh, sorry, Dragapult. And guess who else is uh, weak to a Shadow Sneak? This dancing ice uh, Monopoly looking uh, Pokemon. <laughs> See you later. The carry was Mimikyu. Look, I was a little bit unsure. Like they, like I said, RNG with um, the Aegislash. If Aegislash was aggressive and continued to just attack with Shadow Balls, it would have made the situation awkward. <laughs> I actually can't believe what's just happened, chat. It does nothing, just makes a sandstorm. What am I saying? Well, there you go, chat. That was it. That was how easy Leon is to be. And that's that. Pokemon Sword, Wonderlock, Hardcore Nuzlocke completed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.